Welcome to 11th of February's Godly Blessing. Now, how do we become fortunate in our life? Either we use our own intellect or we take the use of God Father and His guidance on a daily basis. Now, this is only possible not by praying, not by going to a temple, not by going to a masjid and praying and asking for help. He's our creator, He's our father, as for different religions, father or a creator. And we are His creation. So, as a father and a child, if you believe in that relationship, then it should be a direct connection with Him. That means you are connected with him and through his telepathic communication with you or his direction which you receive when you are in meditation, in silence actually. And then you work it out and then you guide yourself in his path and you achieve whatsoever you come here to do. So let's see what does God have to say and how does he make us fortunate. God says, may you be multi-million times fortunate. And as one who performs elevated actions, make your fortune elevated. So what are, what are the kind of elevated actions? People generally think, and we have discussed in our previous blessings also, that if you give money, if you give shelter, if you give food, if you give clothes, then you are becoming fortunate, you are earning blessings. Yes, you are. But then it's a limited blessing. God is talking about unlimited blessing over here. So God says the more elevated your actions are, the longer and clearer the line of your fortune becomes. We generally say that the line of fortune is on a forehead. Why forehead? Because the soul is over here and soul thinks continuously a line of thought and works upon it, acts upon it and creates his fortune. The way to make your fortune elevated is to perform elevated actions and that's what we said. It is about helping other souls to connect to the creator so that the creator can work on them and remove their vices cleanse their intellect, make the souls purified so that the sins of previous births are cleansed and now you can become self-independent. God then says, so be one who performs elevated actions and attain the fortune of being multi-million times fortunate. Why? Because we will be getting the blessings of Supreme Creator first for helping other souls to get connected to Him. And the second thing is those souls who get their fortune from the Supreme Creator by meditating and connecting and getting this divine knowledge will also be blessing you. However, the basis of performing elevated action is having an elevated awareness. Awareness of who? Who am I? And whom do I belong to? I'm a point of light divine being. God is the supreme divine being. Point of light. By being aware of the most elevated father of all, that what does he want? What would he do in this situation? What would he like me to do? How will he use the talents which he's given you and me? You will perform elevated actions. So that is the awareness. Therefore, you can draw your line of fortune as long as you want. In this one birth, you can create your fortune for many births. And this is a secret. When you do something in this birth, you give money, you give food, you give shelter, that comes to you in the next birth. And it is only for one birth. What you do in the next birth is carried over to the next birth. But what you do now, as in you help souls to connect to the Supreme Creator, the one who cleanses the souls of the past sins. And when you do that, automatically you are going to earn for many, many births and exactly 21 plus births. How do you earn for 21 plus births is what you learn in Brahma Kumaris as a complete secret of the whole drama. Because you take more than one birth this drama. So find out how do you do that when you go to Brahma Kumaris and learn this beautiful knowledge. Om Shanti Kumaris.